So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relevant. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, needless to say... The same this place the guy in uh, uh, well Pulp Fiction there, had to no. watch. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? At least his last name isn't Gulia. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. I'm sure my dad will want to spare no expense. Great. What? If your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of the century, <laughs> people are going to think I married you for your money. No, I was hoping they'd think you married me for my hot bod. Julia. Hey, money thing's not a big deal. Really. I'm sorry that's on your mind. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. But just before that, he saw his whole future ending because she made fun of him. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. All right, so what's this bearing here? When they talked about it later, they were both happy. Okay, proposal. Okay, I guess I guess this compass goes around. Okay. Hey, you seen my brother? Mm -hmm. Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. It's not that big so, a boat. Which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Well. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Oh. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Well, they're gonna get drunk on four beers. There's five people. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? We're Wait, leaving. Is she still a driving instructor? Carrying okay, that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dive? I wanted it to be memorable. Just not that memorable. I have to ask you, popping the question on the bottom of the ocean Ooh. like that is pretty romantic. There we go. Manchurian gold. And some... Stuff. What else does it say? Oh, I'm trying to read that. Ah. So, Serial number of order detailing flight of squadron to patrol. Date 7 47 yeah. Flight leader squadron 112. Okay. Right here. Awkward silence. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. 
who wants to find some sunken treasure? You know, it looks like somebody wrote that on so afterwards with like a sharp. Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only all right, one Joe. missing. Joe. Reckless. All of you. Good night, sleep, Excuse sir. Excuse me. I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Oh. Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. Ooh, it's a good ghost story. Up, actually. Is this going to be like the opening for Friday the 13th Scare Part 3? little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. And a Wait, camp called true Crystal story? Lake. Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. He of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting Evidently to kill people. Cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? So the, the butler. Woman, uh, she's still hysterical. Says her husband did it, and he's still here, in the closet. Dun, dun, dun. Huh. The husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh. That Super was a horrible jump nice. scare. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Yeah, cool story, bro. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? 
the internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. But you only brought four beers. Just saying. Expecting that. Are they going to beat him with soap and socks? <coughs> Man, I got to learn to push buttons faster. Captain's got a new boat. Might as well ungag her too. Well, all right, we can all talk now. Julia, are you okay? I think so. Is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Um, yeah, let's untie it. We gotta get untied, like now. That would be the first thing I was <laughs> suggest doing. Oh, shit, that's no good. Come on. <laughs> oh, you missed me. Oh, fuck out. Oh. I'll be back for you later. <laughs> Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Uh-oh. What are you 
fuckers want. Yeah, it might be time to tone it down just a little bit, dude. Slow down. Easy. Everybody forget about his brother. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Oh, now you you thinking about? Him? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back. Maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay. But you just They're showed coming. your hands. <sighs> Fuck. Motherfuckers. All right. Hey, hey. Are you okay? You okay, what did they do you? I'm okay. fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Jerks. Took the ring. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. These people become right. very resourceful all of a sudden. Stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. You know, I mean, they weren't resourceful to begin with, but now all of a sudden they're real resourceful. Two, three, four, five, six. Hey, what the hell are you thinking? What the hell, guys? See, we could do this. Don't fall. Yeah. 
I guess I hit the right buttons. You're pretty stupid. Conrad! Bring them downstairs. I have such a hard Take time this. hitting the right letters. Use it if you have to. My choose your own adventure is sucking right now. <laughs> Sit down. Have a beer. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. But where's the problem? Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this... Manchurian goo? Uh-oh, he knows. How do you figure it out? The boat ain't that big. Where is the brother? You fucking blew our best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. Oh. I'm just gonna say it. Flitz has got to be in on this. You know these guys are Jeez, not that guys, bad. They They're in nice the same for She's pirates. And they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole! You're all in this together. Snap. This is a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, so put a cork in it. <sighs> Sit still. Miss it again. You come with me. I doubt how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Alright, dude. Never to tell me twice. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Just cut it all loose. 
should have helped. Hey! Move it! Now! Good job looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Well. I don't know where he is. Why don't we just tell the bad guys that there's another man on the boat? Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Holy crap, what is that? Oh man, is that the phone for the beginning of the game? I believe it is. Yep, it is. That's the guy who jumped off. Okay, so now we've come full circle. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Except Brad, we have no idea about. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've Was reached that the a hint? point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. No, probably shouldn't have. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Not going anywhere. Go.
whole place is a floating death trap. Yeah, I would agree. Says the lady with the tetanus cut on her leg. That's why the shark came by earlier, I swear. Trying to go the right direction, but this is not the kind of place I Get back. I'm going the right direction. Alright, so if I hit W, that goes the wrong way. If I hit D, oh, it's delayed. I did not sign up for a trip to creep down. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. Alright, so that's where the one guy died. Milla, Milla, Milla. Move. Son of a gun. <sighs> Dude. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, we'll go this way. Oh shit! <sighs> Turning and moving in this game is a little off. Osan, you're in both to see. Okay, all of you into the room. Okay, okay. All right, I can handle this. It's, yeah, it's not too scary yet. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Isn't there a light in front of you? Oh. Thanks. <laughs> These are like the nicest pirates ever. that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned i'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship no shit sherlock you gonna write a book about it give him a break captain but confident there <laughs> we can't just sit around we need a plan we're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves second they let their guard down we got to take advantage of it and get off the ship Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetan shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. <sighs> yep. It makes the engine work. I don't, I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're going to find on this floating coffin, we got to take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss? I agree I with that one 110%. Let's get off this thing. I might have done things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. 
But I... I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so... Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. <laughs> cool. Cool. Alright, well, the little shiny thing says I need to walk on over here. Hell, Capitan. Was there something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these uh, extras? Yeah, kidnapping, seven hundred and fifty a extra time. All right. Listening to your stupid bickering. I gotta hold the button in to read it. That's okay. I'll do it. Let's do it. What does it say? It says from Miss J. Rivera. Rivera. Apartment 2, 275 Lotwood Drive, Crescent Springs, Cincinnati, Kentucky, 41027. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry. I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. Uh, how's work? Hope the boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. I Great. get a lot of time to think I'm while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark ship. and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic, and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy forever. Love you so much, Miller X. Well, we saw Miller's outfit, so I don't think Miller made it too far. Oh, what's this? Oh, doopy doo. Turn around. Pick it up. Oh, it's glasses. Real, real creepy. Okay. Just a pair of glasses. Oh. Oh. They won't recognize the noise of things moving. Hey, look what I found over here. Rusted air vent. Go for it, Superman. You got this. Anything else going outside the door? Nope. Oh, picture. I wonder why this was ripped off. Good question. Why was it ripped off by a little Wolverine? Wait, 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 right here beside her. Oh, that's where I read that. Okay, put it down, put it down. No need to read the guy's message again. Okay. 
Now that chair, there's a lot now on the, oh, it's on the newspaper right here. Okay. What happened here? Um, over, American Overseas Gangland Ling of 1947, is that killing? 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hutchinson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September until uh, except bleh, September last year with the stay go of unearthing the 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 okay. So this guy obviously doesn't know you can unfold it to read the rest of it. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. You're strong. You try it. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a bit like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Hulk smash. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, let me go get my butt whooped again. That sounds like a plan. Hey, yeah, you, Long John Silver and shit. Well, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces. Yeah, no, you, I'm going to rip your pirate bears off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow-colored stew. Hey. I'm warning you, I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personally. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? And this is when the bullets come right through the door. Hurry up! Okay, grab the lantern, Bray Wyatt. Let's go. stairs around here. Yeah. Let's go. Find those stairs. That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. I'm excited to be a part of this. Oh, yeah. Let's just break off from the main pack. Okay. Yeah. This, this is going to be great. What's going on down here? There's the mystery of the smelling socks punching briefs. Dirty laundry. Okay. You could have just said dirty laundry. That would that would have worked too. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, what's in the Whoa! <sighs> Clip it. Anything else in there? No. Stupid flipping rat. Okay, I want to go this way. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shh. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There, there was a chick standing there. Were. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. 
out of bounds? Where's the you are here arrow? Yeah, that's a good question, buddy. I would like to know it too. I would like to know it too. Anything else in here? Man, that. Okay, go ship here. You need to stop. Need to stop. You need to stop. Bathroom. Oh yeah, this is gonna go well. And there's a line on the floor. What does it say? Dill Isles. Since her name's Eileen, I'm gonna go with it being Isles. Dear Isles, finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific and I'll be back, you and the girls. I can't wait to see you your faces tell Ned and Nancy to get excited they gonna see daddy real soon and he's got gifts for y'all I'm sure glad to be back at sea it's hotter than Oklahoma summer out here on land and there's no escape from it I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going they sent through them which is probably for the best because sometimes the others steal them to read and don't like them reading our letters and I don't like them reading our letters I know really creeps me out he keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted I know he's just messing with me there ain't no way we got a stowaway our ops guys are far too slick now the war is over I bet you'll they'll edit this bit out but it shows what a place can do to a guy I gotta go now for gotta go for now honey there's some commotion outside that usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while I'll ride again soon. Robert XX. Spooky. How spooky? That toilet's broke. Want no more jump scares? I just can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? Your guess is as good as mine. You hear that? If by that, you mean that... This place is fucking massive. Okay. That... That was the whole point of that cutscene? Is there anybody over here? Did I miss something? Yeah, I almost did. Alright, let's pick up the book, put down the uh, flashlight so we can't read. It's a book. We can fan ourselves. You know, it's hot. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, we can open it now. Alright, so let's see. Uh, June 19th, I identified problems. Uh, a problem area with structural brittleness and cracks in some of the sections of Cargo Hold 1. I structured, instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. June 20th, I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had malfunctioned recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, uh, which would which has stopped the equipment shorting out and it should slow down the growth. Next page, please. June 21st, I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel, oil, and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded the staff in the entire in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there is any loss of pressure. June 22nd, the ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing traveling through hoisting cables aloft the deck, which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I've received reports the main problems 
caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough seas, they have no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make a full damage assessment. And that's it. Just those two pages. I'll go read. It's a big book. We're only going to look at those two pages, though. Alright. That sounds, sounds right. Alright. Turn around every now and then I get it. Uh, not singing. I really hope that's the people I'm supposed to be following. Oh yeah, they're sitting over here. What's this? There's that green smoke. That's awesome. Um. A rat skull? Yeah, okay. Let's just put that right back where we found it. Yeah, why not? Why, why is that important? Another book. Big book. Let's read one page. Yeah, pick it up. Let's do this. All right. Thursday the 12th. The skippers KO'd the booze for this whole GD trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet this ship is. There was a fight between the dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson right where we sailed, but Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a feller who helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. Be he said that the, some guy made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you get were any, uh, if you were any old grunt. I got me, it got me thinking. Who could be in those boxes? Friday the 13th. Booze has, was a bum loss. Booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt. Okay, that makes no sense. Booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups. But I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on deck on six to check out. Saturday the fourteenth. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. And on the fifteenth, what happened? Um, why, why, why am I going back? What's going on? Okay, thank you. It's all off. The guy who's going to help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks he's uh, some kind of flake, which might be true, but Billner says it's something else, something weird about this place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. All right, we skip the 16th, we go to the 17th. Perez said that the boys made more hooch, too bummed to sneak and try some, but what else is there to do? News. New hatch, a new batch is worse than the last one. Never listened to a damn fool idea from Perez ever again. Saturday the 21st. Last night, I was on duty with Wallowitz, and GD, if he didn't creep me out, he's got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went missing in action in the jungle. Reckoned that Jones and his crew were ones in the boxes traveling home just like us eight, just like us saps. I sneaked a look and Jesus, there it was, just like the guy in the porch had said, all laid out real nice, old glory over each one. If it's Jones in there, they done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there. He made sure we're all come back to page one all right we're on the reach two pages all right, all right i get it hey back there we go that was kind of weird i was hitting the right key but uh we just kept picking it back up all right that's fine anything else for me to pillage I do like the camera angles sometimes. Alright, what's in here? I 
I guess I went the right way. Because I was alone, and suddenly there were four other people, or three other people here. Getting beat up, trying to hit on you. Okay. Keep an eye out. Holy crap. I don't know. 